everyone. So uh, Jonas and I, we are heading out to make a sweet little time lapse. The weather is beautiful, sunny day, um, and we just ha had a meeting this morning, um, going through all our materials, um, the schedules, the different time lapses, the locations, everything we need for our big, big trip coming up very soon to Taiwan. Jonas is very excited. Yeah. <laughs> he still can't believe it's happening. Yeah. But it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's we're, been... uh, we're going out in the middle of the day right now to shoot time lapse. Normally we just head out in like uh, in the evening and in the morning and in the night. So yeah. it's very, very late back today. Yeah. Very it's, pleasant. It's, it's very unusual. It's yeah. uh, basically just to have a little bit footage for you guys. So. Uh, so you can see what we are doing. Um, but yeah, like Jonas mentioned, usually we are we are doing it in other times uh, of the day during to the light and the weather conditions and everything. So uh, yeah, today we will just go to a nearby spot uh, at a very old uh, inn or restaurant. Um, so you can see a little bit of Denmark as well uh, before our next next episode which will mainly be from some airports in Taiwan I think. Yeah I think the next episode will be like uh, our travel to yeah. Taiwan um, and yeah it's uh, I've never been to Asia before actually so I'm very excited to experience the Asian cultures and the, the cities and the landscapes and uh, I'm very thankful that I'm uh, that I'm finally able to, to visit Asia and uh, in addition, go and time lapse out there, which uh, I love very much. So, yeah, uh, it's gonna be a good time, I'm, I'm sure. Definitely, it's been um, it's been quite a journey because last last year, uh, when when we went viral with a taste of Taiwan, uh, I remember I called Jonas maybe around July because I was I was starting to talk to Eva Air and uh, Taiwan Tourism at that time. And uh, then things just has been going in different directions since then and it took really long time to make it happen and I've been talking to so many different people to make it happen uh, so I'm really happy as well that we can finally make this come true and we'll have our first uh, journey and uh, I can introduce uh, a bit of Taiwan to Jonas yeah be amazing our first time-lapse gig abroad yeah yeah it it's is. a big moment it is uh, indeed so we have a lot of we've, we've had quite a few uh, assignments in, here in Denmark paid assignments as well uh, but uh, this is the first time that we will embark on our our first uh, like project uh, outside of Denmark so yeah that's very special as well it's truly special that we can uh, get our first international gig outside of Denmark. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that's just something about traveling the world, doing what you love. Uh, that's really what it's all about, I think. Yeah. Uh, filling your life with uh, things that you are passionate about. Yeah, some people were asking me like, how how did you make this happen? But actually, it's. It's just through following your passion and your work and, and keep pushing and keep believing in what you do. Uh, now we will go down and uh, and see if we can find a little spot to uh, to do a time lapse. Let's go. Maybe that's backyard. Yeah. And this would be then the tax season. Very romantic place. All right, so we just found our little spot here uh, for a tiny little time lapse. So we are going to set it up.
camera is rolling now. I've set it to one second exposure so it will drag the shutter just a little bit to smoothen it all out. It's a really nice place we've found here. There's like a, a small river out here, actually the, the largest river in Denmark. So it's a nice little spot. So now we'll just let the time lapse roll for yeah, 15 minutes. All right, so uh, our cameras are rolling. Uh, actually, not mine yet, but uh, Jonas' camera is uh, is rolling over there. And uh, I set up a small slider move here, so uh, it's gonna show a nice place around here. So uh, let's get it started. Actually, it's uh, time lapse, which uh, yeah made us know each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what uh, like Henrik discovered one of my uh, films uh, like three years back, I think. Yeah. Two or three years. 2016. Uh, yeah. I made a time lapse project of uh, Jutland in Denmark, which is uh, the western part of Denmark, uh, which is where we we are also today. But um, yeah, I made this film uh, around two and a half minute long. And Henrik uh, discovered my video on Vimeo and uh, he texted me and uh, said that, uh, that this looks a bit like what he's doing too. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. uh, he, he hasn't really uh, you know, discovered or seen any other persons in Denmark making time-lapse footage of, of this quality. So uh, he would like to have a meeting with me and uh, talk of, about what we could uh, if we could to help each other out and uh, share experiences and uh, uh, maybe do jobs together and stuff. So uh, we had a meeting in my office in uh, Aarhus yeah. and uh, yeah, we had a, a few cup, cups of coffee and... Uh, yeah, it was yeah. quite a long meeting, I remember. It's, yeah. It was yeah, a we long talked meeting. a lot. Yeah. Several yeah. hours, yeah. I think. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and from there we've uh, yeah, shared our experiences. We've been uh, in Copenhagen, we've been... Uh, shooting in Aarhus and uh, yeah now a few a few years later we are going to Taiwan to shoot a, a big uh, commercial tourism project so it's yeah it's amazing to like discover in which direction things can take you in, in life uh, so it's it's unpredictable at times but yeah this is uh, this is one of the the positive the positives <laughs> of uh, of the online world and social media where you can connect with uh, a lot of people really both locally and also internationally it's fantastic yeah it's amazing yeah i remember at that time i was i was doing a lot of footage for a taiwanese company uh, and i actually just got back to denmark recently from taiwan at that time when i saw jonas uh, video um, and i remember i found him uh, by instagram to send him the message and uh, yeah he replied quite fast <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, a few days later, we, we were having coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, I think it was just a couple of months later then you had the project for Aarhus, uh, yeah. European Capital of Culture. The European Capital of Culture, yeah. We had this, uh, yeah, this amazing night, time-lapsing, uh, one of the biggest events in Denmark, actually. Yeah. So, uh, an event that went straight into the, the history of, of Denmark, I think. So, uh, yeah. Uh, and from there, we've uh, made... Uh, projects together and uh, so now we are heading to Taiwan and out into the big world yep <laughs> this is the beginning yeah. <laughs> yeah. and it's uh, you know it's 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 quite hard to to you know find people that have this uh, dedication and patience it takes to produce high quality time lapse produce high quality time lapse Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so the slider just went into the water. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Get your hand. again. Wow. Okay. Uh, that, went, that, that, that was just a bit too exciting. 
Ja, jeg filmer mig nu. Ja, 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 jeg ved slet ikke lige, hvad jeg skal gøre mig selv lige nu. Det startede også intakt, thankfully. No damage to either the slider or the camera, so... Yeah, everything's good. All good. All good. So we just uh, wrapped up our shoot. We have time left here. At this... Nice little location, so my camera had a shower. Yeah, <laughs> Henrik's camera had a shower, so uh, fortunately nothing uh, major happened, so no damage to to our gear. So um, only yeah. the slider had a shower. The, sli the slider had a shower. Yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, we're gonna pack our things and uh, and uh, head home. I think. Yeah, head back, get some okay. cake. <laughs> get some cake, yeah. Okay, well deserved fun. cake. Yep. Slider took a shower in uh, the little uh, water pond. <laughs> we were a little bit unfortunate because we were doing our, our vlog and uh, behind behind me there was my, my camera moving on the slider and uh, yeah, suddenly the, the weight of the camera equipment was apparently too heavy <laughs> so so the whole slider tipped over. Uh, luckily yeah. Uh, yeah, only, only the slider went into the dirty green water and uh, the camera and everything else is fine so we were very lucky yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what I was talking about is uh, yeah we talked about uh, uh, how me and Henrik uh, met and uh, how we got to share our experiences and uh, passion for time-lapse photography but uh, what I what I was in the process of telling you was uh, that uh, only very few people have the, the passion and the dedication and the patience to yeah to do uh, high quality uh, time lapse photography uh, and I've, uh, I've been doing time lapse for like a few years uh, totally alone before Henrik reached out to me and so it was also it was um, I, I was happy that uh, there was someone out there uh, uh, and locally to me that uh, shared the same passion that I had because when you were doing time-lapse uh, not very f not very, not a lot of people uh, do this like a hundred percent and you you become it's, it's very very lonely at times because uh, you go out alone and you process all your footage alone and you edit alone all the time so having a uh, a person or a few persons to share these uh, experiences with and these moments it's just in invaluable so um, so what I'm, I'm trying to say is that uh, time of photography is not for everyone it requires a lot of uh, yeah, patience and dedication and this also means that very few people actually are actually willing to do it uh, at least in the in the quality that that we make time lapse photography so so yeah uh, having persons around you that uh, shares your your passion is uh, is invaluable um, yeah yeah I can I can add in that uh, at the time when I saw Jonas's uh, video um, I uh, I just saw wow he's actually doing the same thing <laughs> uh, and 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 a lot of the flow and process is, is so similar to what I have been doing and uh, I found he's actually really nearby, only like uh, 40 minutes by car. <laughs> so it's really someone doing the same thing in the local neighborhood. That was yeah. quite a surprise to me. 
uh, before that, I, I met time lapses from uh, maybe from Singapore or, or something like far away. Uh, but suddenly, I actually had this uh, e extremely talented guy just in the backyard. <laughs> so, so yeah, I had to reach out for him and say hi. Uh, yeah, and then, then he just moved on from there. Um, and I think we got a really good start because Jonas got this uh, opportunity with the uh, yeah, European Capital of Culture in Aarhus where we were shooting the opening ceremonies. Yeah. So at that point we, we didn't even, it was in the early beginning, we didn't even have a shoot together yet. It was our first shoot. Yeah, <laughs> the very first shoot. The very first shoot yeah. was actually a super big commercial shoot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was like we were just, okay. Let's go do our thing. <laughs> yeah, and I had this this, uh, this this job coming up from the European Capital of Culture, and I knew that I needed uh, an assistant, a time lapse assistant, to to make some some other shots than I that I could make myself. So that um, I, I knew that I had to find a person that that knew his craftsmanship, and uh, so that was perfect. That Henry reached out to me a few a few months earlier, so I instantly knew that this was my person to have as an assistant on on, on that night, and uh, it turned out that it it just lifted, it it, it pushed the, the project to a whole not, a whole other level, that we had multiple camera angles uh, on that on these few very few hours that the ceremony lasted. We are close to being ready to travel to Taiwan in in around a week and a half from now. Um, yeah. So exciting. <laughs> Very exciting. <laughs> yeah. As you know, I'm quite familiar with Taiwan, so I'm, I'm trying to like give a little bit of insight for, for Jonas because it's his first time to hit Asia and, and, and yeah, experience a totally different culture. Um, but I already introduced him for a little bit of Asia food in Denmark. Uh, and I know the Taiwan food is, is much, much better. So, I mean, I, 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 he's in for a real treat when we get out there, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you for following us. Yeah, thank you for watching. And see you out there. See you. Thank you. Bye-bye.